it turned out to be worse. You should be in LA. Your wife's out here, headshot is point. useless. Fuck them kids, move out here. What's the solution? Oh, this is the final solution. Oh, shit. No, Commander Cigarettes. Philip Morris. Man, fuck cigarettes. I think and you'll have to go. That's what they were whispering about in the computer room. Well, maybe sorry I told you. Shit. I hope you know how much I appreciate this. <laughs> this is big time. That's why they changed his contract. Now they can dump his ass without price, you know. Yesterday. Without it running the company. We get another round? I need to get you drunk enough that you don't remember telling me. You don't smoke dope with Snoop Dogg and you don't drink with Don Draper. I'm just telling you, man. Not everybody. Well, he hates this bitch, man. He fucking hates her so much. <laughs> Have another drink. How was the night on the town with Harry Crane? You know what would make you feel better? Three-way? Drugs. Oh, well, that too. Drugs and three-way? I'm tired. You just got here. <laughs> Party time. Because the fun. Dude, you were having fun before you got here. It's fine. He's got a big problem, man. They're going to try three way. I'm supposed to tuck you in. Oh, shit. And what does your friend say? <laughs> I, don't like I was kidding, man. This is ridiculous. You're out your stone. <laughs> if you like Amy. They're high as fuck. He hates her. What are you talking about? He fucking hates her. So they've been smashing on their own. Now they're trying to flip him into this. Man, I was fucking kidding, man. Jesus. This is unbelievable. This is the best right now, Don. Look, I'm not going to hell with you motherfuckers today, man. The fuck are we doing? I know you want to. No, he really doesn't. He can't stand this bitch. <laughs> <Don't lie. laughs> She's gone full fucking Hollywood, man. Because what's so hilarious about this last season, she would never even consider this, right? Being out in Hollywood for a year or two completely changed her. <laughs> Suddenly he loves this marriage. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Look at me. Cannot fucking believe what's happening right now. <laughs> I can never make another three-way joke again. They've ruined it for me. Like, see, this only works if you don't hate the other woman. He clearly fucking hates it, right? Maybe he that won't last. Maybe he won't hate it for very long. Guess they followed through. <laughs> what the actual fuck happened last night? Do I remember? Do I want to remember? Like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. It wasn't a dream? <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't find the coffee. Yeah, we don't do that here. Get it. Good morning. <laughs> is he finally going to find out about Sally's nose? Because holy shit, man, that feels like pertinent information. Yeah. Now he's going to be Where are you? Look at it. Like it or not, I'm worried about you. Yeah, that's right. Get loud. Now Megan's really solid. Thank you for me again. You're not going to sit her out. Interesting. <laughs> I don't get the lighting the cigarette off the stove. That feels so fucking dangerous when you have long hair. Couldn't do it, man. But I have to get back. Really? It's business. But you're still coming back next weekend, right? Of course. Hell no, man. Well, wait a minute. After this, yes, I'm coming back every weekend. I'm going to split. Gate party. Oh, shit. Hey, this worked out. He got the extra pussy, and now she never wants to see you again. Excellent. That's why she did it. Feeling guilty and shit. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't need an operation. It's not even broken. Oh, shit. You overreacted for nothing. I'm comfortable here right now. <laughs> Cuss her out again. What's gotten into you? You come in and ask me to move just because... You yeah, you just want to fight. I'm comfortable in here. You want or to I fight. wouldn't be sitting in here. <laughs> Knock it off. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I speak Italian. You are an asshole, though. We're sorry you forgot to inform me what I'm supposed to think. <laughs> There's two sides to this, clearly, right? Why don't you run for office? You know what, Henry? I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's a good idea. Good luck. I honestly don't know when, when was the first woman was elected to Congress. It had to be the, probably the 70s. It wasn't the 60s. Can't you tell? I'm myself again. Oh, yeah, she got some sleep. Oh, good. I have feelings for you. Oh, shit. Well, 
I'm flattered. Yeah, look at her getting all smug. I realized it was the waves of data. They were filling me up. I had to find the release. I killed the computer. Now it just flows through me without affecting me at all. It has an outlet. Open it. You out of your mind. Something you did on your own. My god, this- HOLY SHIT! What is that? It's my nipple. <sighs> Holy fuck! It's weird. They'll sew it up, but they won't take it off. I had to do that myself. Fucking hell! And so I wanted to show it. Dude. What an interesting character arc. I have a feeling this is his last episode. Hey, uh, I got a thing. Michael. I mean, he's been psychotic for for years, right? Like we we just we didn't notice among all the other craziness. <laughs> you got to be kidding me! We need the police, fire department, paramedics, and about six psychiatrists. Six, I tell you, and butterfly nets. We definitely need butterfly nets. Fucking hell! I thought that was his ear for a second. It turned out to be worse. So what's he gonna do? You know, go to another agency, start his own. Clearly, he's fucked, right? We weren't expecting you, Don. Yeah, bet you were. I know that, and I apologize. Someone from Philip Morris are too polite to say. Well, we know who you are, and uh, yeah, we're talking about a presentation right now. You suck. But we do have a problem working with the man who cut our throat in the New York Times. <laughs> I'm prepared to leave the agency. You got damn right. Just know the man that wrote that letter was trying to save his business, not destroy yours. Yeah, but still. And I found a way to stay that execution in 60, 62, 64. I'm a bad motherfucker. Sat down with the opposition. They shared their strategy with me. Yeah, I know the things. That may be true. But we don't turn on our friends as easily as you do. <laughs> that American Tobacco would think if you made me apologize. <laughs> Force me into your service. <laughs> Eat crow. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Whatever you need. <laughs> That's right. Get his ass out of here. Get out while you can! <laughs> He's got schizophrenia or something, right? It's the computers, I tells you. You're incredible. <laughs> thank you. That wasn't a compliment. You think this is going to save me, don't you? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Sometimes you got to see your enemy. Sometimes they're hard to see. I'm trying to think of the craziest person I worked with. Like, really out there crazy. And I guess I didn't really work with anybody crazy. Either. Like, there was a socially awkward guy. I feel like I don't think there's anything malignant about him. I think he's just socially awkward. Maybe he's on the spectrum somewhere, I'm not sure. But he was one of our uh, PAs. And we were shooting in a house, okay? So we had, like, a, there were people set up in all the bedrooms. I think it was, like, a four-bedroom house. Me and my girlfriend at the time were in a bedroom on the, the first floor. And there were three bedrooms upstairs. And there was two actors in each one of those bedrooms. There's no locks on the doors, if, if I remember it. Plus, I think you could probably lock the door if you're inside, but like there was no like your know, key, you could lock a bedroom door when you leave, right? So, and as I remember it, I think we were there's no furniture in the house, other than what we had in the living room as like set decoration. So me and my girlfriend were sleeping on an air mattress. So we had the air mattress, no furniture. So we basically had our stuff laying on the floor, and you know my stuff is on my side of the air mattress, her stuff is on her side of the air mattress, on the floor. There's no like dressers, there's no desk, or there's no place to put anything up high everything's on the floor okay we go out one time and uh me and my girlfriend i think we we're doing like a grocery store run or something there was a couple actors upstairs and it was first thing in the morning we we're trying to get some groceries before we start shooting for the day so the pa shows up and when me and my girlfriend come back the pa is sitting in the living room reading a magazine and my girlfriend just take looks at me looks at him and then just takes off for the bedroom and I don't know what the hell's going on. So I start putting the groceries away. And then she comes back and she tells me that the magazine had been in our bedroom. It was her magazine. It had been in our bedroom, on the floor, and her 
dirty panties were on top of the magazine. She had like clothes around. Yeah, she had the clothes on the floor. The magazine was on the floor. Her panties and I think like a shirt or something were on top of the magazine. So this dude not only went into our bedroom, which, you know, party foul, but was clearly looking through our things, party foul, and moved her panties off the magazine to take the magazine and take it into the, be- the living room. Party foul, right? Strike three. So I fired him on the spot, obviously, right? But I, like, I don't think that was like malignant. I don't think, who knows, man? Like, was he in there sniffing her panties? I have no idea. But you shouldn't be in somebody's bedroom and you sure as hell shouldn't be in any way interacting with somebody's clothes. It's just, you know, the worst possible combination of events. He's male, she's female, it's her intimate clothes. You know, you can ask yourself all the different permutations. What if it had just been a shirt? Would that be the same? It's, you know, the fact is you're in the bedroom and you're, you're like wandering around the bedroom looking at shit. That's a problem, right? But that's like, is that crazy? Probably not. But at least like the weirdest thing that happened. You know, nothing like this. Like this is like some terrifying shit. This dude is like clearly out of his fucking mind. And when you think about what the state of psychiatry in 1969, oh my God, he's not going to get the care he needs. We'll just put it that way. I think there's a lot of electricity in this future. Poor bastard.